The Schrodinger equation allows us to solve for all possible wave functions and energies for an electron in a hydrogen atom. These solutions are called orbitals. Now the solutions contain two parts, wave functions, which tell us about where the electron is, more specifically the probability of finding the particle, in this case which is an electron, at any given position, and the energies tell us about the energy of the electron. These atomic orbitals are defined by quantum numbers. The quantum numbers label the different solutions for the wave function. N, the principal quantum number, specifies the energy of the orbital, hence the energy of the electron in the orbital. All atomic orbitals with the same value of N have the same energy and belong to the same shell. L is called the orbital angular momentum quantum number, and it measures it's a measure of the rate at which the electron circulates around the nucleus, which defines the shape of the orbital. Now the value of L is dependent on the value of N. N, the principal quantum number, defining the energy, can vary with integer values from 1 up to infinity. The value of L, dependent on N, varies from values of 0 up to n minus 1. So there's n different values of L for any given n. The, now these orbitals of the shell fall into n groups called subshells. So when L is equal to the numerical value of 0, it's called the s orbital. When L is equal to 1, it's called the p orbital. When L is equal to 2, it's called the d orbital. And when L is equal to 3, it's called the f orbital. Each of these orbitals, s, p, d, and f, have characteristic shapes. The m sub l magnetic quantum number indicates the orientation of the subshells around the nucleus. These um, values of m sub l are dependent on the value of l and vary from the value, the numerical value of l down to and through zero to the numerical value negative L. So there are two L plus one values of M sub L for any given value of L. Now this is, starts to become a bit of a tongue twister, so let me just define this a little bit more carefully. Uh, N is the principal quantum number, and it value ranges integer values one through infinity. So if N is equal to say one, then L is dependent on the value of n, and it can range in values of 0 to n minus 1, so it can only have one value, which is 0. And then m sub L varies from negative L down, or from positive L down through 0 to negative L, and since it's uh, 0, the value for m sub L can only be 0. Whereas the value, if the value for n is equal to 2, then the value for L can be 0 up to n minus 1, which would be 2 minus 1 is 1, and then the value of m sub l is going to be dependent on uh, each of those values of l. So the subshell l equals 0, which is the s subshell, um, can only have an orientation, one orientation, um, called 0. So this um, l and m sub l value um, would go together. And then when the value is equal to, of L is equal to 1, then the M sub L associated with that L value would be um, 0, or excuse me, negative 1, 0, and 1. So what that means is for this value of L, where L equals 1, which is also called the p orbital, it could have three different orientations labeled with the M sub L quantum number of negative 1, 0, and 1. Let's take a look at an example here. The ground state electron configuration for hydrogen is 1s1. This is the orbital notation, which indicates that the, um, that the one electron is in the ground state, which is the lowest energy level. Um, the number uh, in front of the letter is the uh, um, symbolizing the n quantum number, and then the letter is the letter designation for the l quantum number. So whenever um, L equals zero, we know that's the S subshell. So the quantum numbers that would describe this particular orbital 
notation would be um, you give the value for n first followed by a comma then the value for l next followed by a comma and then the value for m sub l and in this case there's only one set of acceptable quantum numbers which would be uh, 1, 0, and 0. Now what set of quantum numbers describes an excited electron in a hydrogen uh, atom which resides in a 3p orbital. So again, the number is uh, telling us what the energy is, the n value. The letter is telling us the l value because we have to memorize that p corresponds to an l value of 1. So in this case, the set of quantum numbers that would describe that particular orbital would be 3 for the principal, 1 for the angular momentum, and then uh, for the m sub l that goes with this l equals 1, we have to remember that there's three values, negative 1, 0, and 1. So one set of acceptable quantum numbers would be 3, 1, negative 1. Another set would be 3, 1, 0. And another set would be 3, 1, 1. So there's actually three different sets of quantum numbers that match the um, orbital notation 3p for the hydrogen. Um,